What's up, fuckers? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm on NHL 22 for the very first time, and I'm going to put Tyson Fury into this game so he can hand out some brain damage. Not gonna lie, I was originally planning on putting my daddy LeBron into this game, so that's why we're gonna be number six to begin with. But while trying to make him, I remembered this is hockey, so there's only about eight black presets because no black people play hockey, I guess. When decorating his equipment, I made his colors red and white to honor his queen and country and T or whatever those Brits are into over there. And we're gonna join the European Hockey League and join the Cardiff Devils because that's the only English team I knew of. I guess they're Welsh, but I'm American, so it's all the same to me. If there's one thing I don't like about hockey, it's all the rules they have implied, so we're gonna take off most of those and give our team a big advantage when it comes to aggression, hitting ability, and speed, and all those things. In our first couple minutes of action, I'm putting some people on disability if they aren't already on it. Hit on the play. Oh, here he is in close. And I did have a flaw in my game due to the fact that I threw bodies into the net, which just gave them more protection from us scoring. And I'm still using the trick from last year where you turn up your slap shot power all the way up and then you can break your stick, which allows you to run around without having to use a hockey stick, which makes the sport so much more fun. And inevitably, this led to my very first fight. It was with R. Hervonen. I don't know, I'm gonna have a stroke trying to read that. This fight wasn't very close due to the fact that I'm about 10 inches taller than him and he only landed one shot on me at the end. And I guess I didn't have the rules perfectly set because I've been ejected after this fight. I don't really like this idea of being ejected after you win a fight. Maybe the loser should be ejected, have to go sit there in shame. But we ended up winning the game 2-0, to zero, so I fixed all the settings so I won't be ejected after one fight. And while minding my own business, my teammate decides to shoulder check me, and apparently this is his method of asking me if he wants to go bowling with him. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. So I aggressively told Roman Bellic that I don't want to go bullying with him. He ends up putting a hand in my face and threatening me. I don't know if this man has aspirations to turn into a vegetable, but he's on the right track for it. In our second game, I was already taking on two men at once, no homo. And honestly, the team's already coming together nicely. Here, everybody else is playing hockey while I'm just blindsiding people in their backside. I took out three people in a row by the net and this gave them a wide open shot. And I recorded my second fight after a hit that I didn't think was that bad. It wasn't a very close fight. Better step up for him. And he challenges them, and now they're going to go. Oh, and he hammers them. I didn't want to just hurt my opponent, so I decided to take out a few of my teammates. Hopefully one of these men were Roman. You've crossed the line, Gazin! Beginning of the second quarter, it didn't take me very long to knock the net out of place. I had another no contest fight after putting a man in doggy style position. Oh, and he caught him right there. And right here, the whole ice is a mess. I hit a guy's helmet off. I've got a broken stick. I hit the guy who doesn't have a helmet on. And number eight over here, I don't know what he's doing, what his game plan is. Maybe I hit him earlier and he's still recovering. This guy decided to call me out after I bumped into him after the play was dead. Not a bright move on his part. Here I actually took off the goalie's helmet. I've never done this before. You're usually not allowed to have any contact with the goalie. I mean, if I could hurt the goalie every play, I'd be doing it. And one last fight in the European League. I scored a man into the net, beat another man unconscious, and I think we might have found our thumbnail. Also, here are my teammates fighting, but they're just standing up instead of grabbing each other. If anybody knows how to do this, I would love to know how, let me know. Because every time I get into a fight, my opponent just grabs onto me from the beginning of the fight. After this game, I upgraded my physical traits. I also accidentally simulated one of our playoff games because I'm a fucking retard, which of course we lost because I wasn't out there committing war crimes. I ended up getting drafted by the Seattle Kraken. And if you don't know, this is a brand new hockey team in the NHL. And if you're asking what's Kraken, not much, tell me what's up with you, but it's a legendary sea monster of gigantic size or really just a big octopus but really is it too much to ask for a video games to have accurate size comparisons and cutscenes? 2k and ea do the same thing over and over and it doesn't seem that hard to code but getting into my first preseason game against vancouver my game plan usually starts off by seeing which players are the star players and trying to injure them straight out of the gate but i ended up taking out one of my teammates here shit happens but back to the fundamentals i break my stick and go back to committing attempted murders i ended up accidentally subbing myself out of the game after i was trying to take out their star player usually i don't come out until they forced me to come out due to a dead play. And I lost my helmet here on this hit for the first time. And if you lose your helmet in this game, you are forced to come out. I think helmets should be optional. And after I came back in, I decided this Pedersen guy has had it too good for too long. So I decided to take him out right after the puck off. I thought I'd for sure injure him here, but he was fine. I ended up having to fight a guy named Bowie. And again, I was trying to get Patterson, but I accidentally took out his other teammate. So again, Bowie and I are gonna scrap. This guy barely hurt me and I decided to just let him down gently. And I scored my first goal in the NHL after a play of complete chaos. My teammate had an open shot in front of the net and I was actually trying to take out the guy next to him and or the goalie But this led to me accidentally taking a good shot in my next game against the Oilers I got my first fight after taking out a man and the net all in one motion Oh, and he caught him 
I got pretty good at taking out star players. My method for this is if I didn't get them on the first try, I would just wind up and get them again. And eventually they'd start grabbing some part of their body. Out of a puck off me, my teammate Eiffel Tower to man. And of course I get into a fight over it. Here I am doing my thing on defense on the wrong side of the ice, but then one of my opponents strategically falls and I end up doing a front flip. I landed head first and that might be the biggest hit I take in this video. I wasn't sure who did that to me, so I decided to just take my anchor out on everybody near the net. And near the end of this game, I found a fun little glitch. You have to have a stick in hand to do it, but after your teammates score, if you continue hitting B, your body just moves like a wacky inflatable tube man. African American, hail a cab, testify in church, or just raise the roof. I mean, I know Tyson Fury is known for his incredible head movement but that is just off the charts i think the players were becoming a little bit timid to fight me i had to hit the star player about four or five times before somebody stepped up against me time after time and then I proceeded to land every right hook that I threw at him. I got sucked back in later in the game, and this has got to be one of the shortest amount of times that it took me to start a fight. After using a man as a puck, 67 decided to stand up for his teammate by just shooting some eye daggers at me. Probably did more damage making me think about my actions than actually trying to punch me. But then I went on to get all of the fights that I can get in one game, all in my first shift. Well, it challenged me. Wow, and it's sort of cut in, Jim. Here comes the pushback. Oh, and he hammered. Well, that'll get a response. Oh, and down to the... And he's going after him here. Oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll... In the beginning moments of my game against San Jose, my teammate laid out a guy and was immediately preparing for a fight, but I made sure to protect him, laid out the guy that was coming after him. And in my second fight of this game, I was actually losing this fight for the first time. My health actually reached the point where if I get hit, I'm knocked out, but I just had to play it smart. And down. I fought him again, and he was still a very good fighter. He's just a perfect dodger. So I decided to solve this problem. I should just take out the fighter and then make other people fight me. And after doing this, my fight was a lot easier. It looked like it was going to start over the last 10 or 15 seconds. Uh and I didn't actually injure him before starting this fight. So I just made sure to target him in the next play until he went limping off the ice. Here I am for once actually just playing hockey and somebody decides to hit me. But while I was off dealing with him, my team managed to score and kill a goalie, it looks like. But after looking at the replay, it looked like he got scored on and then just lost the will to live for about five seconds. Here in Anaheim, I had a couple big hits, which led to Josh Manson's helmet coming off. And after doing this, safety last. I slapped his helmet away and hit him right after. But I got to give credit to them. They're pretty brave. I didn't even really hit this person. I more so just bumped into this guy with my butt and it caused a fight. I think they were just looking for an excuse to get some revenge hits in, although they sent the wrong guy for the job. Here's a replay of my team scoring and I'm off doing my own thing. I don't even have a hockey stick in hand. Right after we score, I send a player flying into the air off his own goalie and then his head actually went into the ice for a second. I don't have an explanation for that one. I love this play because number 29 comes onto the screen. He's standing dead seal. I have the puck, yet I still managed to find a way to take him out. Here against Vegas, I landed one of my hardest hits, but it was against one of my own teammates. I ended up fighting shortly after, but if anything, I think I should be fighting somebody on my team for what I did to this man. This game was very competitive. We were down one point with two minutes remaining in the last period. So I started hurting people with the purpose, which led to a score, tying the game up with two minutes left. I was trying to take the lead instead of going to overtime. I laid down some solid hits, but my teammate ended up falling like a cartoon character. And we weren't able to score, so we did have to go to overtime. And this is the first time I have ever broken a stick and actually gotten a new one. But it didn't really matter. We ended up winning because I took out one of the defensive men, took off his helmet, so he was out of the game, and we scored shortly after. In Nashville, I broke my record for the shortest amount of time it took me to start a fight. It took me two seconds. Absolutely rock down to the ice. Later on in the first period, I'm pretty sure I was looking at my phone at this point, yet I still managed to injure a player. I am 6'9", 256 pounds, and I guess my natural instinct is to just elbow somebody if they're coming my way. And even though I elbowed him in the face, he's walking off grabbing his ass. Must have been doing some Kanye West activities the night before. Against Vancouver, I laid down a very hard hit, and I didn't realize I injured him just by that one hit. And once they're limping off, it's pretty hard to make contact with them, so I ended up just shouldering the wall. And I know earlier on I said I was attempting 
committing murder out here, but this one, I was really going for this guy's throat. I mean, I was literally standing on this guy's neck with the blade of my skate. If this game was rated M, it would have looked like an Ariana Grande concert out there. And by the third period, there was only one star player left in the game for Minnesota. And I got to give credit to the guy. He was very tough. I couldn't injure him. And boy, was I trying. In between games, my agent was telling me about a homeless event going on. And I was pretty disappointed because I didn't have the option to say no to this. But thankfully, in my second response, I had the option to lie and say I had a prior commitment that day. Because as the fifth greatest basketball player once said, if you can ask for spare change, you can say, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order, please? And in my game against Buffalo, 33 came into contact with my player, which gave me the option to start a fight with him. And I love opportunities like this because normally this guy wouldn't want to fight me, but he can't escape me now. I was barely even damaged in this fight. Although in my fights against the actual enforcers on this team, it wasn't much different. And I did score later in this period after just happening to be wide open right in front of the net. And after doing this, I came up with my own little celebration where I just sprint around the ice. And as long as you just keep sprinting around without running into a wall, the game doesn't stop you from doing this. So I ran around for quite a bit. Then I scored a few minutes into the second period and I had another new celebration where I just started hitting people after the play. And then again, later in the second period, I ended up taking out the only defensive men in my way. So I had a wide open fast break and plenty of time to score. And this is my only hat trick I've ever had had in any NHL game, but NHL 22 decided to come up with a new celebration for me where they quit out of the application and I have to start the game over. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. NHL 22 is a lot of fun to play. Regardless of the fun little glitches in it, it feels very smooth and hurting people in this game will never get old. Make sure to subscribe if you want more dog shit content like this. Shout out to SeaWorld and LeBron for helping me make this video. I started a Discord, so if you're interested in joining that, make sure to go follow the link below. It's a very toxic and autistic community, but I love it and I'll be in there from time to time. Hands up, don't shoot, respect women in Lakers in three. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one.